More than two dozen avalanches since Friday, two people buried, and plenty of near misses. Yeah, the slopes along the Wasatch Front are covered in unstable snow, and avalanche danger is real for anyone heading out this weekend. Take a look at these photos here of what was an extremely close call in the Uintas. A snowmobiler got caught in a slide, ended up fully buried, but thanks to an avalanche airbag, he was quickly found. And this avalanche in Little Cottonwood Canyon could have ended up much worse when a skier was buried under six feet of snow. It took the rest of the group more than 20 minutes to locate the skier with the help of probes and a beacon. That skier was flown to the hospital in critical condition. At least 19 of the avalanches since Friday were triggered by skiers, snowboarders, and snowmobilers. News specialist Lauren Steinbrecher spoke to one skier today who captured the moment he triggered a slide. Lauren. Yeah, Debbie and Dan. So that slide happened a week ago tomorrow on Monday when conditions weren't even as bad as they were this weekend. But that skier still learned that even if you are experienced, you have all the right equipment, it can still take you by surprise. A beautiful day of skiing becomes oh, Matt, Matt, Matt. an experience Matt Galland will never forget. I could see the crack, the slab release right in front of my feet. Watch out, John! Especially with the safety steps Matt and his two friends took before they ever set their skis in the South Fork area of Provo Canyon, starting with checking conditions that day. It was a green and yellow day. We mitigated by not going up as high, staying off the big slopes. We took all the precautions. You know, avalanche beacon probe, shovel, helmet, airbag, uh, testing as we went up. Matt's friend went down this slope first. You can see him make a ski cut to predict if unstable snow sits on the slope. Nothing, no cracking, no woomphing, no collapsing of layers. It sounded good. His friend found a safe spot to wait below, and with his other friend watching from the top, Matt started down when the avalanche triggered. I was able to get out of the, you know, off the slab and kind of dig my hands in and hold myself. Matt whistles to warn his friend. John! Thankfully, everyone is okay. Matt later flew over the slide in a helicopter, understanding what could have happened if he didn't escape. It was just Mother Nature reminding us, I'm super powerful, I'll always win, eventually, if you test me and um, respect me and my boundaries. Matt's now hoping Mother Nature's message for him is one that everyone can learn from. Are you willing to accept the consequences that come with, naturally, with backcountry skiing? And if you're not, don't go. And if you are, well then, be as safe as you possibly can be and have a good time living life rather than being afraid of it. <laughs> Am I safe? Now, well, Matt says that he has been backcountry skiing for 25 years, goes 80 to 100 times a year. He had never seen an avalanche until that moment. He says he will go backcountry skiing again, but a few things to keep in mind that that danger is always present, even if conditions are good, that you can never be too prepared.